Hello everybody, welcome to part two of Distress Inks and Cricut Cuts series. Um, this was the first fish that we did um, in the first video of this series. Um, I've cut out another exact replica of this fish, came from Paper Dolls for Every Day, um, cut out of some Recollections creamy colored cardstock. Um, it's my favorite kind of paper to cut in the Cricut. It's easy. It's easy to get. I could just go to my Michaels. I live very close to Michaels, like 15 minutes away. I know, it's a curse. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, so it's just easy for me and I don't have to go and pay shipping and all that to get the other papers that are just as good. No, no, not just as good. They're better. Um, paper trains paper is amazing. I don't know of any other paper. I don't know every paper, mind you, but they are really good paper. If you, you know, if you're looking to order from somewhere and you like to order online, go to paper trading, papertrading.com. And Stampin' Up's paper is good too. Um, I just don't personally own any. So, okay, so we're going to do the same technique to this fish, but this time we are going to um, stamp a image over him as well using distress ink. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do our little fish again. All right. So this time I want to use maybe some some different colors, um, just to kind of you know change him up a little bit. And um, I have this festive berries. It's very close to the barn door in terms of my favorites and um, I should have done this ahead of time sorry let's just let's just pick anything James let's move this along here um, this and let's do something crazy like blue or something and just see what happens that's the fun thing about this you don't have to give it too much thought because the colors blend so nicely no matter what color you choose they're gonna work together and they're gonna do something fun and that's probably why I love Distress Ink so much is because it's kind of exciting you know what's gonna happen and when I was a child probably science was my favorite subject because of that because it's that element of surprise what's gonna happen alright let's go ahead and this time let's start with our scattered straw And we'll start with the head this time. We'll get our, make our head be yellowy in color. Love this color too. I'm probably gonna say that about every color. Who am I kidding? And then we'll go in and do some uh, tumble glass on the back. Now, mind you, because I'm doing this technique on this mat, I'm going to get some blending of color from the mat too. So if you really want a true tumble glass, you got to make sure you clean off your mat in between uses, or I've seen people use a piece of scrap paper and put it underneath each layer every time you do a layer. So just keep that in mind, but I'm just trying to be like quick and free and just, just having fun. For me, it's just fun. I'm not trying to do anything precise. And it's probably a good idea if you kind of go into it that way. And then this time, let's just go in from the sides. And I've bent my little piece here, so it's gonna it's gonna have some extra texture. Okay, and we can go in a little bit and just mix in and blend a little with that orange and with the green. And you decide when you want to stop. It's like Parmesan cheese. I mean, you decide what, how much do you like. You say when. Okay, and so there is a different, and if you want more tumbled glass, I mean, scattered straw, you just, you know, grab your color and just have fun. 
We can go back and get some more tumbled glass and layer it on top. Okay, now I did say we were going to do some stamping, didn't I? All right, well, here's what we're going to do. I'll close these up. And we are going to get... I'm just going to get this one. This one's from Pink by Design. She, um, Sarah there, and her husband, they sell some beautiful, nice, high-quality photopolymer stamps. So if you're looking for stamps, that's a good place to go to. Pink by Design. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water. This is just from the dollar store. Um, I also have the, I do like the Ranger Mini Musters. They, I'm going to use this because I just like the way it mists. It mists a little more evenly. You know what they say, you get what you pay for. So I'm just going to do a little bit of water. And then I'm going to take my fish and I'm going to apply him to the top. And again, I'm not trying to be exact or anything like that. I'm just trying to be creative and have fun. Okay. And it's very, very, what do you call that? It, it's very, uh, <laughs> subtle is the word I'm looking for. But you can kind of see those circles appearing over, you know, with time. If I had added more water, I would get a more dramatic effect. So we can go ahead and, you know, what we could do, we could change stamps and do a different pattern. So I'm going to grab, I was thinking polka dots. So I'm just going to grab my Hero Arts polka dot one and I'm going to do the same thing and you can see the water on this one a little bit better because it's not a clear stamp so you can see that now I'm just going to go ahead and just for the sake of you seeing this is a dramatic more of a dramatic um, effect so you see the spots showing up okay and I'm going to go ahead and heat dry it so you can see the see those spots they're appearing a little bit faster because I'm speeding up the process but is that not cool love that okay and I'll just do the same thing to this guy and go ahead and add a little a little blue maybe to the background or a little green just to make those stand out a bit. And like I did in the last video, I'm not going to be precise or anything like that. I just want to cover up those holes. So just cutting them away so they don't stick out. Okay, and I'm going to use a glue stick just because I'm not really actually going to be this isn't going to actually touch any photos. So, although you can see this is acid free. So, even if you wanted this to be on top of a photo or something overlapping a photo on your scrapbook page, you would be safe because it is acid free. And that's important when you're scrapbooking. Not so much when you're card making. Okay, and then um, just to add a little more, and we can make this little fin stick out going to put some, this is crystal, okay, and we can just add a little more glam to this guy, this little fish, and we can do it to all these lines, I mean, we could just go to town, and mind you, this is, this is, this is going to also react with the distress, the um, stickles will. So keep that in mind. Any kind of moisture you add to these inks is going to cause a reaction. It is a science kind of thing. Isn't he just beautiful? 
I love glitter. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? Gorge, 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 gorge. So we're going to um, do another part, and in the next part, stay tuned, because I'm going to show you the distress markers. Thanks for watching. Bye.